So now, let us talk about classification of soil by engineering behavior, developed by the Unified Soil Classification System or the USCS. Soil Classification Different soils with similar properties may be classified into groups and subgroups according to their engineering behavior. Classification system provide a common language to concisely express the general characteristics of soils, which are infinitely varied without detailed descriptions. Most of the soil classification system that have been developed for engineering purposes are based on simple index properties such as particle size distribution and plasticity. Although several classification systems are now in use, none is totally definitive of any soil for all possible applications because of the wide diversity of soil properties. Although the textural classification of soil is relatively simple, it is based entirely on the particle size distribution. The amount and type of clay minerals present in fine-grained soils dictate to a great extent their physical properties. Hence, the soil engineer must consider plasticity, which results from the presence of clay minerals, to interpret soil characteristics properly. Because textural classification systems do not take plasticity into account and are not totally indicative of many important soil properties, they are inadequate for most engineering purposes. Currently, two more elaborate classification systems are commonly used by soil engineers. Both systems take into account the consideration of particle size distribution and other berg limits. They are the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official or ASTO classification system and the Unified Soil Classification System or USCS. The American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official Classification System is used mostly by state and country highway department, while the USCS is generally preferred by the geotechnical engineers. So, the Unified Soil Classification System or USCS. The original form of this system was proposed by Casagrande in 1942 for use in the airfield construction works undertaken by the Army Corps of Engineers during the World War II. In cooperation with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, this system was revised in 1952. At present, it is used widely by engineers under the ASTM test designation D2487. This is the Unified Soil Classification System. Using this system, we only need to satisfy the requirements to identify the group symbol and the group name of our soil. We have coarse grain soil with more than 50% of retained on number 200 sheep and fine grain soil in which 50% or more passes the number 200 sheep. And this is the plasticity chart. Plotted the liquid limit and the plasticity index. We have the A line and the U line. So plotting the value of the liquid limit and plasticity index here in our plasticity chart, we can identify the group symbol of our soil. And this is the flow chart for group names for gravels and sandy soil. And this is the flow chart for group names for inorganic silty and clayey soils. And also for flowchart for organic, silty clays, and clayey soils. Let us clarify some terms here in our discussion. Here are the pictures of the sheave. So this is the process of the sheave analysis. In which the soil will be sheaved into different diameters. Let us consider the number 200 sheave here in the figure. The soil in this area or in this sheep are considered as the soil retained on the number 200 sheep or the soil that did not pass on the 200 sheep. And the soil here is the soil not retained or the soil that passed the number 200 sheep.
This is for the clarification and to lessen the confusion for the terms in our discussion. To better understand the use of the USCS system, let us classify a soil with the properties given. Percent passing through the number 10 sheave is 100 and the percent passing number 40 sheave is 80. Percent passing through number 200 sheave is 58. The liquid limit is equal to 30 and plasticity index is equal to 10. As you can see, this is also the example from our previous discussion using the ASTO system. Now, let us classify this soil using the USCS system. First, we shall read this chart from left to right. So, let us first identify if it is a coarse grain soil or a fine grain soil. A soil is considered as a coarse grain soil if it has more than 50% of retained on number 200 sheave. Since the percent passing number 200 is 58, therefore, the retained soil on the number 200 sheave is only 100 minus 58, 42. Therefore, it is not a coarse grain soil. And the definition for fine grain soil is 50% or more passes the number 200 sheave. Since the percent passing number 200 sheave is 58, it is considered as a fine grain soil. Let us identify for the next criteria. Since the liquid limit is equal to 30%, this will be the criteria for this soil. The plasticity index is equal to 10%, which is greater than 7. It is said that it is plotted above the A line. So this is the plasticity chart. You can see the A line. So let us plot the soil. The liquid limit is equal to 30 and the plasticity index is equal to 10. Since the plot is plotted above the A line, it satisfies the condition. So it's either a CL or OL. So for this problem, the group symbol is CL. This is the flow chart for the gravelly and sandy soil. But since our soil is a fine grain soil, we will use this chart. So the liquid limit is less than 50%. Plasticity index is greater than 7. And the percent passing the number 200 is greater than 30%. And the percent of sand is greater than the percentage of gravel. And the percentage of gravel is less than 15%. Therefore, the group name for this soil is sandy lean clay. So, group symbol is CL and the group name is Sandy Lean Clay. So, that is how we identify or we classify the soil using the USCS.